Let's take a moment and go over the different types of motors that are used in controls today. Over here we have the squirrel cage motor, just a standard off the shelf squirrel cage three phase AC induction motor. Next to it here we have a DC motor. The DC motor has the commutators and the brushes that have to be maintained and it runs on DC voltage. Then we have the servo system over here. I know very little about them because I was never exposed to them when I was out in the field. So that's why we have Tom here, he can explain the, the servos in depth. Then over here we also have a stepper motor. The big difference that I know about is this. These two motors here, the AC and the DC motors, are pretty much velocity or speed based motors. When we go over to the servo and the stepper, they do velocity, but they also do what's called positioning. I can actually position the shaft to a certain degree, a certain turn one and a half rotations. So with that said, let's have Tom explain some of the terminology we're going to hear about, such as velocity and position. So what does it all yeah. mean? Well, velocity, basically, it's just rotational speed. Speed. Yeah, that's what it is. Running so many RPM. Yeah, so many RPM. That's correct. And uh, position, you can be doing it in degrees or in steps or in distance, depending on how you scale it. So if I had like a linear table, that's an actuator that would move back and forth, I could say move yeah. four inches. Yeah, and you would scale the transmission and the counts to, to that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. So the customer could see inches. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. All right. But uh, in these systems right here, the stepper system, uh, again, it's a positional based uh, system and it has a stator, a rotor, and bells just like any other motor. Okay. Very simple to use, uh, low cost, just not really high performance, but a good cheap alternative for okay. positional means. Okay, they probably don't come in 50 horsepower. No, they don't come really that big. They, okay. they end up maybe come in just slightly smaller than the servo okay. uh, that you see here. That we see here, yeah. okay. So when it comes to servos, do those come in big Servo horsepower? Oh, absolutely. They come fairly sizable. Large KWs? Uh, yeah, up to 10, 15, you know. Oh, really? Be. Absolutely. So I can have a big motor doing positioning down to a hundredth of a degree? Oh, yes. And I can't do that with these? No. Okay, so yeah. why don't we do this? Why don't we go to the other videos? You can go through them and you can see, as we explain each motor, its advantages and disadvantages, and exactly what it can do for you.